What's up, Dykes kids? What's up? <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Good. What are we doing out here on the grass? Homeschool. One of the coolest things about doing homeschool is you can do it anywhere. And today we're doing that out here on the grass, but it is actually really cold today. It's... Oh no, guys, it's starting to rain. Everybody run! <laughs> Everybody run for the house. So guys, it's been 80 degrees, but today it's dropped and it is freezing cold. In fact, we've got our first snow on the top of the mountains. So it is cold today. Our first snow up here on the top of the mountains. Freezing wow. cold. It is super early for us to have our first snow in the mountains. But I'm curious, is it snowing where you guys are at? Do you already have snow? Be sure to head over to Instagram and let us know if you guys already have snow or if it's cold where you live. Because... The Dykes fam is trying to avoid winter this year. That's why we're going to load up in that RV uh, in October and head south because we're going to chase the heat. But it looks like winter is coming early to torment the Dykes fam. I guess we're cursed. But hopefully this is a fluke and the temperatures will go back up because we have a whole bunch of football season headed your way. And speaking of football... Hey Dykes kids, is it warmer in here? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have a fever because it's so cold out there and it's so warm in here. <laughs> and Tatum, where are you playing your game tonight? On the Snow College football field. Yes! Oh, did you get recruited to college already? You play no. college football? Wow. I wish. <laughs> did you get killed? So Tane's got a, a football game tonight. Who are you guys playing? We are playing Manti. Yeah, and it's going to be a tough game, right? Yep. Manti's always good. In fact, they're our rivals. One of our rivals. Yeah, because they're like one of the closest teams to us. Yeah, that's right. They're our neighbors. Yep, they're like 10 minutes down the road. That's are right. Are they both undefeated too? No. no. Oh, Don't let us down, Tayden. Or you're out of the family well. Right now, we're undefeated and hopefully we can keep it that way. Oh yeah. Okay, get your schoolwork done, kids. Yes, yes principal, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you get detention. <gasps> Yay! No school. Yay! Dykes fam, if you guys didn't know this, we created some limited edition football merch to celebrate Tatum playing tackle football this year. And our shirts just showed up. Yeehaw! What do you guys think about the new Dykes fam limited edition football shirts? They're good. They go with my shorts I'm wearing. <laughs> they go with your shorts. Wow. <laughs> Check this out. So. I'm sporting the quarterback tee right now. Tane and William are sporting the running back t-shirt. You guys like that design? I think that's really cool how yeah. my brother actually created this logo. So it's got the little Dykes fam symbol down there and a, an outline of a running back, which is awesome, right guys? Yeah. And then Nikoi, what, what shirt are you sporting? Football. That's, oh, I get it, I get it. And we got our little Dykes Fam logo right there. Special thanks to my brother for making these awesome logos for these t-shirts. Guys, you gotta go pick one up today, right, Dykes kids? Yeah. yeah. It'll increase your football skills by 10%. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. You can either click on this link right up here in the corner, or we have a post, the link posted in the description below. Go get you an awesome Dykes Fam football t-shirt today because they're limited edition. Yeah. They're not gonna be here forever. Right, Dykes kids? Yeah. Guys, we almost forgot to mention we have Dykes Fam hats available for sale. So over here we got the classic flat brim hat. Nikoi's sporting the dad cap. And William has the classic trucker hat on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So if you guys want to get one of these awesome t-shirts or hats, be sure to click on that link in the card or in the description below. Yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot. William. What sport are you going to be playing next week? Black football. What? Wow. Black football. And who's your coach? My dad. Woohoo! <laughs> now it's time to get ready for Tayden's tackle football game. Woohoo! However, Nikoi, where are you headed? I'm going to see my cousin Natalia because it's her birthday. Oh, yeah. Woo! Happy birthday, Talia. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy 11th birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy she's... 11 day. <laughs> Guys, 
Kids, welcome to Snow College in Ephraim, Utah, home of the Badgers. <laughs> this is where Christina and I went to school, where we met and fell in love. <laughs> and now, Tayden, you get to play on a college football field where me and your mom went to school. Is that cool? Dude, this is such a cool field. I yeah. love the blue and orange. Yeah. What? <laughs> Look at who it is. Just here supporting the Hawks today. That's what I was just telling these guys, this is where you and I went to college and met, fell in love. <laughs> that is right, fell in love <laughs> along. A lot of fun at Snow College. If you guys are from Utah, Snow College is a great option. We had a lot of fun here, for real. That's right. It's actually changed quite a bit since we came here. Yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger. bigger. Yeah. So I think they've doubled the amount of students that they have now versus when we came, so. Yeah, it's Anyways. crazy. It's just like a big high school. It's really fun. Yeah. Boys are just getting warmed up out here, outside the stadium. What's up, dude? My shirt. Do you like your football shirt? Huh? We forgot to show you guys earlier yeah. that Rosie got a new one of the new Dyke Sam limited edition football T-shirts. Go. What's up guys? What's up? What's up? We found some studs down here. You guys play for the Templars? Yeah. Awesome. Who watches the Dykes fan? Me. Who was it? A couple of you? You guys are awesome. Go get them. <laughs> Meanwhile, whose birthday? Mine. Your birthday? Yeah. You're t turning how old tomorrow? Eleven. Eleven years yeah. old? Or what? You forgot? I was about to say twelve. Look, who else do we have here? Hi. Happy birthday. Don't Thank say anything. You. Just sit there. <laughs> what? He? He's always her shadow. Yeah, he's always her shadow. And then we have who? No, no, no. We have a st st stowaway. Yeah. She ran away from home. She came to our house. We're gonna open up a couple gifts. Not Grandpa, gifts. you don't get it. You don't get to open any gifts. Only I do, because of my birthday. This is from the Dykes fam. Yeah. Is that from Unicoi? Yeah. Yeah, it's from Unicoi. Rip, rip it. 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 What's inside? What's in the crate? Are you awake over there? Yeah. <laughs> Barely? Barely. Ooh, what's this? So it's a ball, and you put it in water, and then it fluffs up and turns into a little animal. Crazy. Yeah, you put it in water and see? Oh. And then it fluffs up into a little animal. <laughs> what the? No way. This is not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> this is so exciting. The suspense is killing me. Moments later. That's wrong. You want root beer? Okay. Guys, look who it is. He's up in the Chinese house. <laughs> We're just getting some dinner at one of our favorite Chinese restaurants. Hi. Hey. What'd you think about the game, Mom? 
it was hanging, it was freezing cold, and Roswell was asleep on me. We were all shivering on those metal benches, but Tate did a great job, and we're so proud of the box. Yeah. Hi, Rice, did you see me? And William is soaking wet, poor thing. Yeah. Guys. But if you guys haven't purchased any of the Dykes Fam limited edition football t-shirts, you gotta do it right now. Look at what uh, William and Roswell are wearing. Show your football shirt. Wow. Look how cool it is. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Good job, Tayden. You're awesome, buddy. And good job, Casey. You're thank just you. awesome. Oh, thank you. No, <laughs> I provided the blankets. <laughs> Without Casey, we would have all froze to death. He brought blankets and coats for all. Yeah, yeah, so the Dykes fam will live another day because of you, Casey. Maybe you have pneumonia tomorrow. Pneumonia tomorrow. <laughs> Hungry, Caden? <laughs> this kid's starved. Oh, yeah. Got some sesame chicken, ham fried rice, crispy beef, egg foo young, orange chicken. It is so cold. If you guys haven't seen Tayden's game, you gotta go check it out on this channel. But it was pouring, freezing rain, and hailing on us. Yeah. And it was miserable, wasn't it, for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, the wind was blowing. It was so cold. There's my football stud. Hey, what did, you, uh, what did we find when we got home? Okay, so Dad's like, what is that? Like right in front of the garage, and it was a salamander. Like I don't know how he saw it. He like pulled up, and we were still in the car, and somehow because I have animal he spotted instincts, this. bro. Wow. That's a cool salamander. And huh? look, I got I just bought this reptiles and amphibians. Uh -huh. Field guide, and I'm trying to, and I think I identified him. <laughs> salamander. Okay, I think where is it? Right here. Okay, right here. Let's see. Oh. Just like that, right there. Okay. He is a tiger salamander. If you want to check out Tayden's game, you got to go over to his channel. Yep. It was awesome. It was such a cool thing. And guy. another cool thing, and this dude's channel is almost to 100,000 awesome you guys. Yeah. So if you haven't subscribed to Tayden's channel yet, do it because YouTube's changing some stuff up and he may not have a channel at the end of this year. We don't know yet. But help us get to 100,000 subscribers on his channel so Tayden can get the silver play button. Yep. Right? Don't you think that'd be awesome? That'd be pretty cool. Seriously, guys, we would really appreciate it. Right, dude? Yep. And so would the Salamander. Tayden Mander. Guys, in our world, it's September 11th today. And if you didn't know this, there was terrorist attacks. So it was on September 11th, 2001. So 18 years ago. And 18 years ago, I was on a mission for my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I was serving in the city of Detroit, Michigan. And I was riding down the street and a guy came over to us, he stopped us and said, hey missionaries, do you guys know what's going on in the world right now? And we said, no. And he said, there was a terrorist attack in New York and the Twin Towers, one of the Twin Towers has fallen down. He said it was like exploded or something. And so anyways, we went and found out the horrible information. We watched it on the news at a member's house, one of the members of our church. And so that whole day, we just were like stunned. We didn't know what to do. And so we did a lot of praying and whatnot, but I remember it very vividly where I was at. And that was 18 years ago. I wanna, I wanna go ask my parents and Christina where they were at, because this dude wasn't even born yet. I wanna go find out from my parents and Christina where they were at on September 11th, 2001. Okay, Dad, where were you on September 11th, 2001 when you heard the news? Here on earth. <laughs> Actually, I was in our bedroom getting ready to go to work, and I saw it, and I said to your mother, come in here and see this. I can't believe what I just saw. Shock, disbelief, and sadness. We knew it wasn't a mistake, a plane flying into the towers, and then we watched shortly a few minutes later, and then the second plane went in the second tower. Yeah, unbelievable, right? Disbelief. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Hey, Mom. Dad kind of already said it, but what were you thinking? What were your thoughts when he, when he said that to you? Well, I was in the bathroom. You know, he called me in and told me because our bedroom's just across the hall. And I couldn't believe what he was telling me. That was shock, but I, at the time, I didn't think there was any way that it could be on purpose. <laughs> I just thought, this is strange. So I went back in and continued getting ready. And then when I heard, oh, no. There's a second plane that's hit into the other building, the other tower. I went in there, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock, and then you knew for sure 
that it wasn't an accident. I just, I cried because I was thinking of all those people and that. It even makes me cry now when I think about it. And all day long, I was just That was 18 shock. years ago. Can you was believe it that? Me? It was, wasn't yeah. it? Last year on September 11th, we were at school and we watched like all this stuff about it. And so, and after watching that, everyone in our class had chills for the rest of the day. Like really? it, 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 the whole day just felt so weird after watching that. Yeah. yeah. So where I was at on my mission, it was the you time. Were, yeah. The time difference was two hours, so we were already up and going. And so that's why my parents they were just getting ready for the day. It was only like seven o'clock here, but we were out as missionaries proselyting at nine o'clock. So. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. It's terrible. Christina, where were you on September 11th, 2001, when you heard the news? Well, I had just started my junior year of high school, and I was actually in a classroom where you would take college classes. They would broadcast it over the TV, and the classroom right across from me, the teacher was a Green Beret, so he was in the military, and I remember they came over and they told us to all come into the other room and see what was on the TV. And at that time, there had only been the one plane, and so it said that maybe it was an accident, but then right when we came and we saw that second plane hit, and that's when it you know, everyone realized that it was a terrorist attack and it was just so scary and so sad to think that somebody would do that to all those people and it was a very sobering, humbling moment. Well, I missed you today. Did you have fun with Grandpa? Yeah. And Grandma? Yeah. And Natalia? Yeah. Did you wish her happy birthday? Yeah. I know, gosh, we don't get to see her on her birthday. Yeah. Or even the rest of this week. So, mm -hmm. anyways, we want to wish you happy birthday, Natalia. We love you. You're one of the awesomest girls ever in the world, right? Yeah. Turn the big 11. Is that crazy? Wait a minute. She turned 11 the day after 9 11. Yeah. Next year's her golden birthday. It is? Yeah. 12, 12, 12. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it from the Dykes fam today. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't forget to go check out Tayden's awesome football video. Pick up some Dykes Fam limited edition football t-shirts or a hat. Dykes Fam hat, right? Mm -hmm. And don't forget to be awesome. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do we tell these guys? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Dykes Fam. We love you.